hey y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome in today's video i am going to show you guys how to create a digital online vision board on canva it's super easy so stay tuned for that I have my laptop and I'm gonna share my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. So let's get into it. So here's an example of one that I already created and this is for your desktop. And now we're gonna go to how it looks for your phone. And now we are gonna get into how you guys can create your own vision board. So follow along. If you want to, we can do this together or you can watch this and then come back to it later when you are actually creating your own so we are going to create a whole different one the first thing you want to do is go to desktop wallpaper or phone wallpaper i usually just start with a blank one you can use the templates that canva gave you already they have a whole bunch of templates but also this is the free version so you can do things on canva free you can do the pay plan as well the pay plan is nice so here is what we're starting off with the blank i am going i have an idea of what i want to do already so we are just going to follow along and you can also look at examples from Canva or Pinterest or whatever, look at examples of what type of vision boards you want. Like this is an example of one and this is free. So you can just switch out your images, switch out your text if you wanted to. Here is another example. This one is nice. Oh, this one's paid. Oh, Canva, you suck. This is why I don't like to use templates all the time because most of them are paid and nobody about to do that but let's say you want to actually use this template you can use it for inspiration um because we're about to start from scratch so delete all that delete all that and we back at scratch so i am going to do like a luxury section you can get your pictures from the elements section so let's just put luxury up in here see what comes up their pictures kind of suck sometimes so i'm going to share with y'all a couple of websites that i use and also a lot of their things are paid too so i like to get my images from other websites like one is unsplash.com you can also come here for all types of free stock images. Um, here's an example, I put luxury in there. Another website that I like is pexel.com. So I'll put luxury in here and see what comes up. So these photos are free, you can use them. You can also go to Pinterest and download images from Pinterest as well and i am going to upload some photos that i already have this is going to be like a luxury section and just pick your photos i already know what type of format i want to do i'm going to do the same thing kind of similar to this one but i'm also just going to eye it do what i feel so this is, these are the photos I'm going to use. I'm probably going to make those bigger. And what else do I need for luxury? This may be like a travel section. You know what? Let's make a travel luxury section. That sounds lit. No, you know what? I just changed my mind. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this. And these are just examples, y'all. I never do like real type of goals. I do those later. 
all of these are usually just examples for you guys for you guys um, I actually haven't even made my vision board yet I have to think about it a lot more okay so this looks good and then I'm gonna put in a, an element section okay so I'm gonna put like a little box here and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger make this a little bit bigger okay okay that's looking better and just line it up do it how you want to do it I kind of want this even a little bit there we go that looks good and put this black box so I know that this is a luxury travel section and I'm gonna do affirmations for the sections. So, I live a luxury life. Change that to white. Make it smaller. Actually make this box bigger. Um, maybe make it longer actually, okay. You can also put a quote here if you want it to. Control C, Control V. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, Control C, just copy and paste everything. These boxes probably shouldn't be this big, but it's your digital vision board. Do what you wanna do. And I'm gonna put I travel often because these are our affirmations on our board. Also, you can change this a little bit. If it's too dark for you, you can change the transparency to like that if you wanted to, which is cool. I think that was like 70 something. Um, 78. Yeah, so you can do that if it's a little bit too dark for you. If you wanted to, you can do like a theme of one thing on your board. Oh, I forgot to look up at y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I know a lot of times we put a whole bunch of different things on a vision board. Who said we can't have a vision board for like one thing and just pick a theme? Like for my examples that I showed you, the theme was fitness. Everything is around fitness. This one that I'm doing kind of have sections. I live a luxury life, I travel often, but we're gonna incorporate a fitness section in here. And let's use the photos that Canva actually has. One here. And And then we're gonna control C, control V that boy. That's kind of a little bit too large for me. So I'm gonna make that smaller. Actually 27.1, 27.1. Yeah, this this whole thing is a little too big for me. Control C, Control V. Copy and paste that here. And I'm gonna put I am healthy. I am healthy and fit okay so for this last section what should I do 
I'm gonna put business owner. Yep, that's gonna be the last one, y'all. I am a business owner. Canva needs to give us more free photos. But if you have the pay plan, all of this will be available to you. And I actually like the paid plan. Y'all, let's see what these websites have for business women. Black. I always gotta put that in now. Okay. <laughs> Or we can do like girl balls. Yes, I like that. So this is on Pexel. We just download that. And then in control C, control V. We gonna put that right there. Control C, Control V, I am a successful. Okay, so I am done. I actually like the left side more than the right side, but I think it's because I actually chose these pictures and spent more time on that side and this one I kind of just put together for you all but here is an example of something that you can do with Canva if you want to resize this so it can fit, fit your phone I would pay for Canva and then click on the resize button so you can do it for other places phone wallpaper and i believe that's what i did the first time also you can just recreate this for the phone wallpaper if you wanted to and same thing it has the templates for you and you can also start from scratch and just recreate what you made the first time if you wanted to do that but i really think the resize tool is honestly the best thing sometimes we want the same thing on our wallpaper and on our phone sometimes we just want one um, maybe you want a different one on each so just 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 do what you would like to do now let's actually use a template and create one for the phone so like with our vision boards we put a whole bunch of stuff and that's normal, but why can't we pick like four things? Which I'm actually going to do a video soon that's actually gonna mention that. But we are going to zoom in because it's a little small. And delete, delete, delete these pictures. Let's say this year I wanna exercise more. We already got some exercise pictures. So fitness, she actually look like she just stretching and doing yoga. But we gonna put that in there, laugh more. Let's put friends up in here. Oh, actually I like a picture from Pixel. Black women. I like this picture y'all. So we gonna download that and use it and upload it pictures pictures yep we're gonna upload that we're gonna put that there oh yes camping girl no get a raise laugh more exercise okay we're gonna put money on here money it's all about the benjamins of baby Let's see what Canva has for us for money. Oh, I have a picture for money. We gonna put Aaliyah J right there. 
instead of get a raise, we're gonna say invest in stocks. Period. Period. Laugh more, we're gonna change that to more time with friends. Period. And we're gonna make that smaller so it fits. Exercise. Oh, that doesn't fit. More time with friends. Okay. But you can change this up and make it all like the same size. This is like 43. That's way too big. 43. Invest in stocks. More time with friends. Ooh, I'm trying to make that fit, y'all. It's not fitting how I want it to fit. Okay, we're just gonna do that. 43, because we want it all to look, look nice. I'm gonna put books. Read more books. We're gonna do this one because why not? Read more books and put that down there. Go up to 43, and we are done, y'all. We we are done. So one thing that I really like about Canva is all of these templates that they have. Even if you see a template that you don't like or that you can't use, you can always create something from scratch. You can always look for inspiration for vision boards. So today I showed you how to make a vision board for your wallpaper, for your, for your desktop wallpaper. For your phone background you can also resize it and have the same wallpaper on your phone and your desktop or you can have something different on both it's really what you want to do but i really love canva so easy um, i also gave you guys some websites that you can check out for photos also if you wanted to print these out you could there are different ways to export it let's say you don't want it on your desktop anymore you want to print this bad baby out you can canva has an option to print your design i've never done it before but you can do it so let's see where it leads us when we click on that print your design you can you can make stickers y'all all type of stuff I've never tried it, but if you want to try it, you definitely can. Ooh, a wall calendar. That's pretty nice. So yeah, it's just a it's a bunch of things that you could do. You could turn it into a poster. Which what? Let's say I want to turn this into a poster. Yep. So if you if you want it to So yeah, if you want to print this out or and bring it on home, Canva will do that for you too. So once you're done, all you want to do is hit share and export by downloading your copy. I usually do the PNG, download it to your computer, and then just set it as your desktop or set it as your background for your phone. 
so there it is y'all it's actually super easy to do and simple to do well that's the end of my video if you enjoyed it and you found value in it hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video